Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be talking about my Amazon favorites for dogs. So if you are a dog mom, this video is definitely for you. I just filmed an overall Amazon favorites and I mentioned a couple of my favorites, but as I was walking through my house gathering everything, I realized that most of the things we love for our dogs I found on Amazon. So I thought since it's such a big part of my life, it got its own video. So there'll be a couple items overlap if you've watched both. Thank you if you do. If not, um, there'll be some new stuff too. So one of the items that is definitely an overlap, probably my favorite, is our Robo Vacuum. If you have dogs that shed, you need this. That's all I'm going to say. This is the 30C Max, which I have tried. This is the second one, and I found this one to be the best for pet hair, and it's awesome. Also, our dogs like chase it around the house, but... That is a, a must. Another for dog hair, another repeat is the Chom Chom. It's like a lint roller and you move it back and forth across your couch or bed or any furniture really and it's awesome. And then you press this little button and the you take it out. It's really gross, it gets a lot. Another favorite, this is so we have two dogs, a Border Collie and then a Bull Terrier mix that we rescued and he's a tripod. He is just about one and when we got him, I got this blanket and it's called a Furry Baby and he loves it. I want one for myself. It's just so soft. I mean, you could use any blanket but you can get this brand off of Amazon and he literally carries around the house with him. Another favorite I keep this in a stasher because I keep it in the freezer I don't know if you can see but it's a Kong which are like the little rubber things I'll take it out and they this keeps them so busy it's in the freezer because I freeze peanut butter in them and so I chuck them in there because it takes them longer to get through them but these are awesome if you have puppies that are busy and you need to be working or on conference calls or something definitely our little no I mean, he's not even little our young dog cooper is very food motivated so anything like that will keep him busy our big dog could care less unless it's a tennis ball but it's worth a shot um our big dog um got recommended to add coconut oil to his food for his fur and skin so I just got the zesty paws one I get a lot of stuff from zesty paws nothing that I've tried like has made them sick or anything so I'm sure you could use any but um we use this one and sometimes they get a little extra in their food and they love it um I posted about this on my Instagram but our tripod Cooper when he had his amputation amputation surgery the vet recommended for us to get him on a kind of joint supplement right away so we give this to both of our dogs again it's by zesty paws and it is the hemp mobility bites we've tried a couple of their mobility bites and these are the ones that seem to work the best and the ones they like the best so they get one for breakfast and one for dinner and i find this just helps cooper from getting sore because that does happen quite easily and our big dog I take on hikes and walks and things like that so he'll get sore too and these definitely help and I have it I'm sure you could get them in a pet food store but I've just always ordered them from Amazon another favorite and this is a big favorite is their bed I don't even know what it is literally huge we've gotten a couple of these because they may or may not have had the hiccups with one um I have one at the office it's just like so cozy you can wash them again I want one for myself they're like semi expensive for a dog bed but they literally love them another favorite is if you take your dog on long walks or hikes and want to bring water for them I love this I found this from Lauren from the skinny confidential and it's just like a little button and you press this and then the water fills up into this little bowl our big dog doesn't understand this and would just rather drink water when he gets home but Cooper loves this so I usually just keep it in the fridge and then take it with us and um yeah it's really easy and I like that it you don't have to bring a water bottle and a bowl 
it's just kind of all in one and I just put it in the cup holder also when I was pulling all this stuff out Cooper staring at me because I think he thinks we're like going on a road trip or something because that's like the only time I bother moving his things another I guess category is leashes harnesses all kinds we've tried it several he's gonna come running in here because I just clicked his harness hi come here He's like, Mom, why do you have all of my stuff all over your room? Come here, Bubba. You want to come say hi? Come here. Come on. <laughs> He's very confused. Come here. Oh, you're going to hit this. Oh, come here. Come say hi. Come on. Can you sit? Okay. Well, you want to help? <laughs> this? really investigating now so he's gonna see cooper what's going on <laughs> he's like mom what are you this is all of my stuff <laughs> this is so good. like that's pretty good so this is the harness that we use for cooper it's one of the papilla ones we've tried a couple this one works pretty good it's hard because he only has one arm in the front but this one's pretty good and it doesn't bother him oh I also really like the blueberry brand of harnesses and leashes so they both have I'm gonna knock over my water they both have just the blueberry pet colors which hold up really well and then I got this blueberry harness for a big dog it goes on like a bra and it's really nice it's really heavy duty doesn't bother him so that's great also sometimes on our walks he finds a river and jumps in so I like that one because it's not a ton of bulk and it dries pretty easy and for this is he's gonna knock over my water bottle cool I wanted to show you guys this leash not so much for the leash I do like it when leashes have this little part close to the clip but of this little bag to put doggy bags in I like it because it clips to this but then it actually velcros to the actual leash so it's not super like jangly like it really does stay and I actually will unzip this and shove my keys in there which is really nice um so kind of more for this part than the leash but this is by wagging tails so i'm a fan of that and um i also just wanted to show you guys this is what the blueberry leashes look like we have a bunch of leashes because i keep some in my car some in my boyfriend's car some at home but they just look like this they don't have the extra hook but they're pretty basic but nice to have we only have a couple more things. So, Cooper is crate trained. Oh, he just moved the... What are you doing? Let's see if we can get us back. Okay. Cooper is moving my camera. Moving my camera. I'm going to have to see what he's doing here. Is this all your stuff? Is this all your stuff? I should have known pulling all this stuff out would cause a ruckus. So our puppy is crate trained and I think you can get a crate from anywhere and that doesn't really matter. But one thing that I did want to share, let me see what the best way to, oh gosh, he's really intruding. It is a cover. So most people will put like towels or blankets over their puppy's crate because it's supposed to help it feel more like a cave and help them go to sleep. But I found this one, which I was a fan because it wasn't ugly and you know. So it goes over their crate. This one is huge because Cooper's big, as you can see. Um, and you can Velcro up the front. So this part I fold 
on top of his crate so this would be like the front um but I really like it just because you can see his fur flying everywhere that's why I need a vacuum um I just like that it's a little fashionable not super ugly blends in with your decor so that's a favorite we only have a couple more again on the surgery tripod amputation situation I'm making so much noise I apologize is if your dog has to wear a cone of shame which is the worst thing ever Cooper literally got his arm chopped off and he was more sad about having to wear a cone so I ordered him this and to me it looks like an airplane pillow but it goes around their neck just like a cone would but it's just more comfy and they can sleep and they don't bang their head like against the wall as they're walking um especially for the kind of surgery he had he was just trying to get his life together and learn how to balance and walk again so the cone was so big and it would hit the sides of the hallway and would scare him so this was a winner so if you have <laughs> do you remember this so if you have a dog that has to get spayed or neutered or is gonna have stitches and has to wear a cone i so recommend this it like makes them so much more comfortable because they can nap and the cone just sucks so this is a huge recommendation if you have a puppy they have to get spayed and neutered then this is not one of cooper's favorites but this is the life jacket that we have for him um he's worn it several times still doesn't like to swim but that's okay hold on so i got interrupted and i can't even make this up What happened? Levi, what happened? Oh my gosh. Bubba. What did you do? Oh my goodness. So now that my big dog is covered in stickers, I have something for that, which I'll show you. But this is the life jacket we use for Cooper. It is by Diva Glory. He doesn't really mind it. It fits really well. I would definitely recommend measuring your dog as you are ordering them a life jacket because their sizes are always so funky. But this part, it goes under their chin and I really wanted it for him because it's not very powerful. He only has one leg in front. So this is really helpful. Um, he doesn't like swimming as it is. So having a life jacket that he doesn't mind is really nice and having the handle here it's really nice because as he's like going around the boat you can just pull him and just makes it less stressful for everyone or god forbid he falls in it's really easy so and not very expensive so i recommend i have a couple more things so if you have a puppy i'm staring at this because he thinks it's dinner time now if you have a puppy or a dog that eats like it's their last meal I recommend a maze bowl. This is the one that is for Cooper. Levi just eats out of normal bowl. He could care less. But this is really good. And then all of the kibble fall in between. And it's like a game. And it takes him a long time. Not a long time to eat. But much longer than he would otherwise. Because I swear he doesn't even breathe if he doesn't have to. So highly recommend. You can usually find these at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx. So I'm going to have to use this on my big dog shortly. But it is a... Hertz, Hertz it is a dog brush and I really like this because you press this button and all of the little wires come out oops yeah there all the little wires come out and then when you have all of the gross hair and stuff in there you click it again I can't do this with my nose you click it again and it falls and you just have like a clump of hair which sounds gross but it keeps it really clean because there's nothing like left in it and we just have two toys and then we're done so if you have puppies i don't know why he loves these but they, he does they're literally just plastic like really intense plastic these i think are both by starts with an n i don't know but anyways really cheap toys and they're literally his favorite so he will gnaw on those for the next while that concludes all of my puppy favorites one thing that i did want to mention um is i have one of those hammocks in the back seat of my car which i'll link as well and that is awesome saves dog hair 
keeps your back seat from getting messed up he's gonna be really annoying with this toy so i'm gonna finish up thank you so much let me know what kind of puppy you have and if you have any favorites that i didn't mention and we will talk to you later cooper you want to come say bye to me